Hi, I'm Dr. Ramasamy, a reproductive urologist at the University of Miami. Hello, I am Dr. Angulo. Hi, my name is Pramal Patel. I'm a fellow in reproductive urology at the University of Miami. Very nice to meet you, Dr. Ramasamy. So my wife is 33 years old, and her and I have been trying to get pregnant for well over a year, uh, and we haven't been able to have a child. Um, I need your help. I'm sorry to hear that you've been trying to conceive for the last year and a half. On physical exam, I've actually discovered that you have something called a varicocele. So what is a varicocele? So a varicocele is an enlargement of veins around the left testis. Because the blood pools around the testis, it can increase the temperature of the testis and affect both sperm production as well as testosterone production, which are the two biggest functions of the testis. A varicocele is a very common condition. About 15% of adolescent and young men will have a varicocele. But thankfully, majority of them do not have a problem with either sperm production or testosterone production. Nevertheless, varicocele remains the most common cause and correctable cause of male infertility. Varicose seals usually cause no symptoms and do not limit daily life. In some situations, varicose seals can cause discomfort and swelling. Dr. Ramasamy, what causes varicose seals? Varicose seal happens because the valves in the veins are faulty. Just like varicose veins happens in the legs, varicose seal happens in the scrotum. Because the valves are faulty, the blood from the testicle cannot be pushed back into the heart and so therefore pools around the testis, increasing the temperature of the testis. Oh, hello there. So varicoceles are a common cause of low sperm production as well as sperm quality. Varicoceles can cause infertility. However, not all varicoceles can have a bad impact on sperm production. Furthermore, varicoceles can cause the testicles to not develop normally and to shrink. How are varicoceles diagnosed? So typically, a varicocele is diagnosed on physical exam. In some cases where men could have a thick scrotum or if they've had previous scrotal surgery, diagnosis can be difficult on physical exam and so therefore a scrotal ultrasound is indicated to diagnose a varicocele. Fortunately, varicoceles are easy to diagnose and many do not require treatment. They are often detected on an infertility evaluation or a routine annual physical exam. If a varicocele causes symptoms, it's usually fixed by surgery. So a varicocele can be treated either through surgery or through embolization. An embolization is a pr procedure that's performed by interventional radiologists where they go through the vein and put some coils and the patient is usually awake. If you go see a urologist, they perform surgery either using a laparoscope or microsurgery. Using a microscope to fix the varicocele remains the gold standard because it has the best efficacy, lowest recurrence rate, and least number of side effects. This technique has the lowest recurrence and least complications. So when do you have to see a doctor? Thank you so much, Dr. Ramasamy. Now that you understand what a varicocele is, if you and your partner are having difficulty getting pregnant, or if you have testicular pain or swelling, please consult your reproductive urologist. Ahora la infertilidad es parte del pasado.